Now let's go through the steps of adding email to your device. The most common email configurations are POP3 or Microsoft Exchange. So let's run through adding an Exchange email address. To access email, select the Apps icon at the top right of the screen and then select the Email icon. This will take you to the account setup. Type in your email address and password and select Next. Once connected to your email provider, the Zoom will ask you what type of account you're trying to activate – POP3, IMAP or Exchange. Today we are setting up a Microsoft Exchange email, so we're selecting the Exchange button. The Zoom will now retrieve the account settings from your Exchange server. Once complete, it'll ask you for your server settings. You'll need to ask your Exchange administrator for these. Enter the settings and select Next. The Zoom will now talk with your Exchange server to confirm these settings. You may get a request for remote security administration. If this happens, select OK. You'll then be asked to choose settings from your desktop Exchange. Select those that you would like to appear, then select Next. A box will appear to confirm your choices have been set up. When you're ready to continue, select Activate and you will be asked to name this account. You can have multiple accounts on the Zoom, so we will call this one Work. Your email is now set up and ready to go. You can see how easy it is to set up email. I'll now show how easy it is to use Google Maps on the Zoom. From the main active screen, select Maps. This will bring up the Google Maps interface. At the top right of the screen, there are five icons. Location, Places, Directions, Layers and Expanded Menu. The Location function uses GPS to locate where you are. Places will bring up a list of places of interest. Use directions when you want to plan a route to get to places faster. By selecting layers, you can add traffic, satellite, terrain, buzz, which shows you social media feeds like Twitter, and latitude. Our favourite business tool is satellite images. The fifth and final function is the expanded menu, where you can make further changes. Other features of this interface include zoom in and out. Hold your thumb and forefinger together on the screen, then just open your fingers and the screen will zoom in. To zoom out, simply bring your fingers together. For bird's eye view, hold both thumbs at the side of the tablet and pull down. To move the map, just hold your fingers on the map and move the map back and forward, or rotate so you can see the map from the direction you are standing. As you can see, the Motorola Zoom is a feature-packed device that you can adapt to your work life. Now you're on your way to discovering even more on your Motorola Zoom. And remember, the more you practice, try new apps and enjoy the device, the easier it will become.